Hi, my name's Colin. Welcome to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hello, welcome to Paint Watercolours again with me, Colin. I thought we'd paint this one today. And um, the reason I'm painting this is a lot of people have trouble with skies or are a bit frightened. So I don't want to teach you to paint a sky today what we'll actually do is just paint a backdrop like a background something for you to paint over so this is just Naples yellow let's pull a bit into here and into the sides of that so I'm just going to put some raw sienna just pull that down you see I'm, I'm not painting the sky and then we have it like that. This is a mixture of French Ultramarine and Cadmium Red. And I'm just going to fill this in. Now this looks a, a strong colour, but remember there's water on the paper and it will dry lighter. And just pull it down, to let it mingle. You see we have the larger trees on the right hand side and this space is empty so it's a lopsided picture it's all weighted on this side so to balance that out we're going to put some misty trees in on the right hand side strengthen it up in some areas this is the same colour French Ultramarine, Cadmium Red I'll just let that have its way about it. We'll just wet the bottom around here. Into that, we'll just have some Naples yellow in the middle. Some raw sienna. I'm just going to let all this mingle. It up. I just want to drop in a little grey green mixture. This is the sky mixture with some Windsor yellow added to it. It will just turn this grey, a grey green. Okay. Bring it up into the wall because you don't want any sharp edges where your wall is. But uh, just let it all creep in naturally. I think I'm just going to put a little bit of sky colour into the uh, <coughs> the path as well. Well, or the roadway. Okay. <coughs> we need to leave that to dry till the shine goes off and then we'll put the trees in on this side. Okay, I've let this dry off for about 10 minutes and I've mixed a, <coughs> a stronger mixture of the uh, cadmium red and ultramarine. Now that the paper has gone damp, there's still a bit of shine to it but uh, I'm just going to test it. This is with the brush on each side, and we're just going to uh, put some tree shapes in. These are the canopies around here, and this will help balance your picture out with this tree on this side here. brush on and then drag it down just bring some into the yellow here I think just want a little bit more interest into this area and then with the rigger brush this is a uh, a 2.0 you can just Add some, and pull some branches down, tree trunks. Oh, wiggle the kind of things. This will connect them all together, and your eye will turn them into trees. Bit more 
to here. Then we need that to dry off just a little bit more. Okay, now we've got it about five minutes more to, to dry out a little bit, even though the paper is still damp. This is a stronger mixture with the sky colour with your 2.00 rigger brush. Take the excess off and right in the centre, just test it. Probably just a little bit too much paint. And just begin to pull your tree out. And because the paper is still damp, this will go misty. Pull the branches out, strengthen it in areas, just allow it to drift. So we'll just let that dry a little bit. Now that's dried off a bit, <coughs> we come to this tree here and this is just uh, burnt umber. And, uh, it's just very straightforward. And into this we'll paint this wet in wet. Move to a darker mixture the burnt umber and ultramarine get a little bit off that with the paper still being just a little bit damp this will fade a little bit as well I'm just going to add a touch a very very dark green into this it's a burnt umber French ultramarine and Windsor yellow only a touch of Windsor yellow just to give it a very slight green cast because if you may have noticed I mean we all paint trees as we were from children and we taught that they were all brown but very few trees have brown bark and usually always dark or a very silvery green or like silver birch is aptly named <coughs> into this one and just burnt umber again it's just an underpainting and something we're going to feed uh, more paint into into that again some of the darker mixture, burnt umber and ultramarine. Drop it in. Just wiggle a brush again just to create some dark bark texture. This is your really dark green again, which is the burnt umber, Windsor yellow. Ultramarine. And just almost pour it in and then just let it have its way. Just feed it in on one side, then you'll end up with different textures and different colours. Get some cadmium yellow deep. I just want to add this in. This will create more interest into your tree. It will turn a nice green colour. Maybe a little into this one. Just with a rigger brush. Just put some branches in. Burnt umber and French ultramarine just to change its colour slightly. And then we're going to leave that to dry. Okay, I've just turned the board around to make this uh, slightly easier. Uh, this is a uh, number two rigger. And we're just going to put some branches in. This is a mixture of 
burnt umber of Prince Ultramarine. I'm just going to pull some branches in, some twigs. Uh, this is a bit repetitive, so I'll turn the camera off and I'll see you in a couple of minutes and you can see what it turned out like. Okay, now we've got your <coughs> tree looking like that. We'll move into this one. Uh, this is a mixture of sepia and burnt umber because it's, sorry, sepia and French ultramarine as it's uh, darker. And this will make this tree appear closer. And then we we'll do the same to the branches on this. As this gets a little repetitive, I'll just show you a few. And then you can see pull your branches out okay then I'll turn the camera off and I'll join you in a moment and hopefully you'll have got all your branches in okay well, welcome back hopefully you've got all your branches in uh, it kind of looks something like that uh, what we'll do now is we'll just put some foliage on and we'll paint these very very simply this is the mixture of French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber with a touch of Windsor Yellowing just to make a grey green. And we're just going to just test the strength. So even that's probably a little bit too strong. This is very watery with the brush on its side. Just bring your foliage in. always on its side to add some darker tones in whilst the paper is still damp same for this bush same for this tr tree here push on its side push on its side <clears throat> don't be frightened just bring it in just go for it okay I'm going to leave that to dry Welcome back. We're just going to move the attention to the wall, stone walls, and I'm just re-wetting the walls, but not all the way up to the top. I want some white at the top of the rocks, well, the stone wall, being left. And this is straight from burnt umber. There. The grey colour, some of the green. Same one here. Green, sweep it into the grass. Not too much. Stop out one or two areas. that to dry. Okay now your stone walls dry. Uh, this is just a mix of French ultramarine and burnt umber. Making a dark. What we can actually do is just put indicate some rock shapes. Uh, so we'll turn the camera off but you get the general idea. And vary the colours from the dark to a brown or something. Same on this side. Okay, I've re-wet the uh, grass banks and pulled it up into the wall with clean water and into that I'm just going to drop some raw sienna of cobalt, uh, sorry, French ultramarine burnt sienna and 
coming in yellow deep. And we're just going to add some streaks along here to the end. Just let it run into the wall. And you won't be able to tell where the grass starts and the wall begins, or the, the grass ends and the wall begins. Darker mixture, choose the tree colour. Might need a little lighter than that, I think. So I'll just mix it in like that. Yeah, that's about the colour, just a little lighter. Grayer. here hit some clean water where the grass verge is at the bottom here going into the distance so I'm just going to re-wet it and then touch this green into it if I've got enough on the brush just pull it in same time bringing it into the wall just adding just a little tiny bit of burnt umber and ultramarine just to make like a grey damp brush you should be oh, the damp brush softens some of the edges in Soften the grass edges off into the path. Okay, and you can leave that to dry. Now that that's dried off a bit, <clears throat> we'll come back to this misty tree again and we'll just run some clean water around it. And then into that, you have that like that. Just take some of the original sky colour very weak and just test it and just drop it round <clears throat> or the track or the dirt piece whatever you want to call it I'm just going to re-wet that both sides take some of the darker sky colour which is the French Ultramarine and the Cadmium Red. Test it first, start at the bottom. And as you move through, you've got a touch of water. French Ultramarine, Burnt Umber and the Cadmium Yellow. And just in some areas we're just going to uh, put some in. Pull some grasses out, soften off the bottoms. Remembering to soften off the bottom. Pull some into the bank. Just to see the final result. Okay, there's your finished painting, uh, you've signed it, I'll put a couple of birds in, we'll call this one Misty Country Track, showing you how to put a background in instead of a sky. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have please click the like button and if you'd like to subscribe you'd be more than welcome. Thank you very much for watching.